When we utter the term traditional examination system, what comes to your mind? Do you imagine a classroom filled with students hunched over their desks, busily scribbling on sheets of paper, their brows furrowed in deep focus? Perhaps you envision an invigilator stalking the room, eyes darting from one student to another, ensuring that no malpractice is taking place. This image of examination halls has been ingrained in our minds since our early school days. The prime yardstick for assessing a student's aptitude has been their ability to memorize and regurgitate data, often under the pressure of a ticking clock. However, have you paused to ponder the validity of this long-standing system? Does the conventional examination accurately assess a student's understanding of the subject matter? Or does it merely measure their capacity to spew facts and figures they've crammed over the course of the year? These are questions that spark numerous debates, drawing the attention of educators, policymakers, and even the students themselves. Now let's envision a different reality, an examination setting where students are allowed to bring their textbooks and class notes, where they can consult these materials while answering the questions. This is the essence of an alternative method of examination, the open book examination. It's a groundbreaking notion that's gaining momentum worldwide, being adopted in countries like the United States, United Kingdom, and Australia. The emphasis here isn't on testing the student's memory, but their understanding and interpretation of the subject matter. Today we venture into this intriguing concept that's been creating waves in the education sector globally, with a specific focus on India's Central Board of Secondary Education, or CBSE. Renowned for its progressive and inventive approach to education, the CBSE has recently expressed its intent to trial the open book examination approach for students in grades 9 through 12. This transition isn't just a capricious change, it's a recognition by the CBSE that the conventional examination system might not be the most effective method to evaluate a student's capabilities. The overemphasis on rote learning often undermines the development of critical thinking, problem-solving abilities, and deeper comprehension of complicated concepts. The open book examination approach aspires to rectify these shortcomings and foster a more comprehensive and holistic mode of learning, taking cues from other global educational institutions that have successfully embraced this methodology the concept has already shown promising results it has proven effective in boosting student engagement alleviating exam related stress and nurturing a deeper understanding of the subject matter this daring move by the cbse aims to to explore the viability of applying this approach across the broader indian educational landscape the initiative aligns with the shifts in global education trends, mirroring a more progressive and contemporary approach to learning. Moreover, it harmonizes with the recommendations put forth by the National Curriculum Framework for Secondary Education and the National Education Policy of 2020. This directive strongly advocates for a shift away from rote learning, promoting critical thinking, nurturing problem-solving skills, and supporting a more holistic learning environment. This pioneering step holds the potential to transform the assessment landscape in India. It signifies a move towards a more inclusive, comprehensive, and effective education system, a shift away from conventional practices towards more innovative ones. It bears testament to the CBSE's dedication to evolving education to cater to the needs of the 21 St. Century learner. Nonetheless, while the CBSE's decision is laudable, the success of its implementation will be the true measure of its effectiveness. Will the open book examination yield positive results in the Indian environment, or will it contribute to the existing problems faced by the education system? The answers to these questions will unravel as time progresses. The CBSE has recently announced plans to experiment with the open book examination approach for students in grades 9 through 12. This audacious move is an endeavor to assess the feasibility of implementing this approach across the broader Indian educational framework. The initiative is consistent with the recommendations from the National Curriculum Framework for Secondary Education and the National Education Policy of 2020. Now you might wonder, why this sudden shift? Certainly it's a question that deserves a comprehensive answer. In an attempt to elucidate, let's delve a little deeper. It's important to note that the concept isn't quite sudden or novel in fact. The Central Board of Secondary Education CBSE, the vanguard of educational administration in India, had previously brought this very idea to the fore, introducing the concept of open book examination around seven years ago, during the academic year 2013-14. to 14. 
This bold move raised eyebrows, instigated debates and sparked a wave of discussions. The CBSE dared to challenge the conventional norms and opted for an adventurous foray into a new realm of examination systems. The open book examination concept was a revolutionary mode of assessment, attempted to pivot the traditional examination structure by a significant degree. It aimed at a more inclusive and comprehensive way of evaluation, hoping to focus on enhancing mental agility, analytical skills, and critical thinking prowess of the students. Now you might ask, what happened to this groundbreaking initiative? Why did it disappear, only to resurface now? Well, as with any pioneering idea, the open book examination concept was met with a blend of enthusiasm, apprehension, and skepticism. It was indeed a transformative idea, but it faced an uphill battle against ingrained notions about examination methodologies. Ultimately, it was discontinued owing to a wave of negative feedback from educators, students, and parents alike. Fast forward to today, the question arises, why bring this concept back now? The answer to this is both simple and complex. The CBSE never stopped its quest for better, more efficient, and more effective examination methodologies. Its central motive has always been about enhancing students' learning experiences, a quest that it has pursued relentlessly. In light of this, the CBSE aims to conduct a more comprehensive study this time around. It intends to select a handful of schools representing a cross-section of the student populace. Through this study, it aims to understand the potential benefits and challenges of implementing the open book examination assessments. This move is geared towards ensuring that the reintroduction of the open book examination does not merely remain a theoretical concept, but transforms into a practical, workable model of assessment. The director of academics at CBSE has recently vocalized his thoughts on the matter. He has outlined an elaborate plan and emphasized the need for thorough preparation and robust support systems to ensure a seamless transition. This is particularly crucial considering the diverse backgrounds of learners in India. The heterogeneity of the student community, in terms of their socio-economic, cultural and regional backgrounds, makes it imperative to have a well-strategized and methodical approach towards the implementation process. The Director of Academics at CBSE has emphasized the need for thorough preparation and robust support systems to ensure a successful transition, considering the diverse backgrounds of learners in India. So what could be the potential impact of this shift? Well, the open book examination approach is believed to promote a deeper understanding of subjects, encourage critical thinking, and reduce the stress associated with traditional examination methods. It shifts the focus from rote learning to the application of knowledge. However, it also poses challenges such as the need for a higher level of self-discipline and the potential for increased plagiarism. In conclusion, the CBSE's plan to experiment with the open book examination represents a progressive step towards enhancing the learning experience for students. It aligns with the national education policy's aim to encourage critical thinking and understanding over rote learning. However, the implementation of this method requires careful planning and support due to the diverse learner backgrounds in India. Today we discuss the CBSE's plan to experiment with the open book examination, the reasons behind this initiative, and its potential impact. This move reflects a broader exploration of examination methodologies and represents a progressive step in Indian education. However, the success of this initiative will depend on careful planning, preparation and support. The future of examinations may be changing, and it's an exciting time to be a part of this transformation. Stay tuned for more updates in the world of education.